Hey YouTube, it's Tayama Sean. I'm doing a quick video, a quick response, um, response video to um, uh, a guy who um, he said uh, I have scars on my balls from surgery, and he wants to know if like will they see them. He was commenting on one of my maps videos. Um, um, his name is uh Spacer Space Racer Twenty Six. So I want to make it quick. I want to make it quick. Um, Space Racer. They are gonna see it. Um, the, the reason why um they're gonna see it is because when you go to our uh, maps, you gotta go to seven different tests, and you got a medical, and you got a physical, and you got the eyes, the ears, the all the other stuff. For the physical portion of those tests, you're gonna have a um an examiner or a physician who is gonna you know check your body for any like bad scarring or maybe broken bone that they missed when they was doing like the duck walking and stuff and all that um for females they they get they for for those physicians for those physical like um tests they get really like in there so if you're a female they will be you know up in your like you will have a female doctor that doing this um and you're gonna have somebody there to sponsor to make sure that they're not fundling in your goodies and all that um they're gonna check your 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 butt your anus and for the females they're gonna check the yeah so they're gonna spread them they're gonna look inside make sure it's good make sure there's no like uh diseases or symptoms of anything in there for females yeah, I don't know exactly more about it. Just the, some some stuff that my battles told me, my female battles. But um, as for the males now, I'm gonna tell you my story about what happened to me. All right, it was me. I was violated. Okay, I was violated. All right, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> I, I still I I can't even give me give me give me give me, give me, give me, one, give me, give me one second. <laughs> So let me tell you what this dude did to me, right? This Indian doctor, right? No offense to any Indians out there, but I was, I'm just trying to describe how the guy was and all that. So don't take offense. But this Indian guy, right? This Indian doctor, he was my physician. So I went in there. I was nervous as shit. Because the guy before me told me, hey, squeeze your butt cheeks. I was like, what? What's he what talking about? So I didn't know he was talking about this thing, whatever. So um, it was my turn to go in next. I went inside. He told me to sit on the table, you know, he got his little gloves and started doing his examination and all that. He checked my head for any scarring, any tissues, um, all that. He checked my face, he checked my nose, my ears, my eyes. He, ch um, he checked my ears and he looked inside and he was like, oh, you need to go and get an air cleaning because your ears are dirty. I can't see all the way in. I was like, what? So he wrote in a piece of paper. So I pretty much failed my, my physical exam because of that. Because my ears wasn't clean, so I had to go and get it cleaning to um and then come back to um and then come back to get it checked again to make sure it's clear, which was stupid, but whatever. Um, so he continued with the exam. He told me to lay down and he examined my like abdominal area. He checked all that. Um, he checked my um like you know, my abs. He was poking around. Then he told me, okay, I need you to get up. And stand up, drop your drawers, um, drop your pants. I was like, w say what? Yeah, drop your pants. I got to check your scrotum and your anus. I was like, whoa. I said, scrotum and anus? It's like, yes. He's like, come on, hurry up. I don't have all day. I was like, and he's rushing to do it too. It's like, damn, man. Shit, you just told me that you want to play with my ass and my balls. And you to expect me to just drop it and just like do it like that with no, like, with no resistance? Like, no, nah, man. You can't be doing that shit, man. So... He was like, um, he was like, I got other people. I got, I got, I do shit all day. I got to get this, this bar rolling. I was like, you know what? Fuck. I just, I just dropped my pants. And then he got down on his knees, which made me feel really uncomfortable. Put on some gloves and he started like, left side, right side, cough. So he told me like, cough. I'm like, <coughs> he was like, mm. okay, next side, cough. <coughs> and then. He said, okay, all right, now turn around and bend over. I was like, no, this people, this YouTube is where 
I felt like I had no balls at all. He told me to turn around, bend over. And then he spread my butt cheeks for about five seconds. Those five seconds was like five years to me. And it felt very uncomfortable. Nobody ever played in my butthole besides Moa. So to have another guy on his knees with gloves on telling me to bend over so he can play in my booty hole was very, very... <sighs> Think about it, I get mad. So, yeah... He told me to bend over and then he told me to cough when he spread my butt cheeks. And then after that it was done. It was over with. That was the hardest part. Yeah. So for the females, it's pretty much the same thing. They're going to do all that to you and then they're going to spread your shit and then go inside and all that bullshit, whatever they do. But for the guys, that's pretty much what they do. You know. Yeah. Just try not to get, guys, try not to get hard. While they're doing all this shit. That's how they know when you're gay. Not saying that there's anything wrong with being gay. No, 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 no. Don't, don't tell me what's out of context. I'm just saying. Some of them might like it. And they might enjoy it. And then, I don't know. That might come like a sexual harassment type situation right there to me. So, just to let y'all know, you know. So, I ain't have no problem, no problem with y'all being gay. Y'all do your own thing. You don't bother me. But... Just saying, y'all get excited, then they get excited, and I don't know, some sexual harassment shit going on right there, I don't know, I, I don't want to prove that, business, you know, keep it business, but, uh, yeah, so, street racer, space racer, yeah, damn, I don't know where you guys are from, but street space racers 26, I hope that's answer your question, that they're gonna see your scar, if they see it, hopefully they don't see it, which, oh yeah, that's another thing too, um, if you do happen to have a scar, Somewhere on you or like a broken bone or something prior injuries or whatever. If they don't spot it or they don't see it, don't say anything about it. Don't say anything about it. Yo, recruiter will tell you the same thing. When you go to MAPS, if you haven't told your recruiter this, do not go and tell them anything else. Alright? Do not tell them any information that they do not need to know. Okay? Alright, people, listen to me. Listen to me. Get eye to eye with me, okay? If you go to the doctor and he asks you, is there anything wrong with you? No, okay? If you tell him something brand new happened to you and your recruiter doesn't know about it, two things can happen, right? First thing, they're going to say, okay, you need to go and get a waiver from the, from the doctor that said this happened to you and that happened to you and bring the medical records in. And then you're going to get pushed back um, to up to uh, it could be up to six months. You've been pushed back just to, just to go and get the waiver. Okay. The second thing is your application for uh, to join the military or the armed forces can get denied. Period. Okay. So I'm telling you right now, if you didn't tell your recruiter about it, don't say shit when you go to maps. Don't say extra shit. They're gonna scare the hell out of you. They're gonna be like, if you don't tell us this about the military and you join and you didn't tell us this and that and they um it, that's false enlistment mm -hmm. and all, all kind of crazy shit they're gonna say to you they they see they doing that to weed out the week to see who's gonna break who's gonna um they're gonna talk about integrity and this and that bullshit if 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 you don't if they never told you if you never told your recruiter do not mention it to any of the maps guys or maps people uh, once you get there also when you get to if you get past all that and you go to reception they're going to ask you the same question is there anyone in here that made it this far that got past maps that want to say something now there's no repercussions and this and that bullshit blah 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 come speak now they're going to say all of that if it's nothing too serious don't tell them anything okay don't say shit otherwise your military career gonna be on hold and this and that. They're gonna scare you. They're gonna scare you half to death talking about you're gonna get arrested and this and that. Go to jail and blah 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 for false enlistment or some shit like that. Blah blah blah. Look it up. Do your research and all that. But if you didn't tell you, tell your recruiter everything up front. Okay. 
tell your recruiter everything up front. The recruiter will let you know. They will lie to you. Your recruiters lie to you. But at the same time, they will lie to you, but they will lie to you to get you in still. That if you really want to join the military, your recruiters will lie to get you in. But tell them everything so they know what's going on with you. So that way they can tell you, hmm, this guy have chance to get in and this guy don't have chance to get in because this situation, that situation. The recruiters, if it's that if it's bad enough, your recruiters will tell you, okay, go and get a, a, a rave up before you join. Before you get to maps. But if you if it's not nothing serious, they're gonna tell you, don't say anything to them about it. Don't tell me anything brand new. Just keep it. Whatever we talked about is what we talked about, okay? So that's what's gonna happen, alright? So yeah, if you guys got any comments, questions, let me know. I gotta get ready for work, you know. So tell me strong. Love y'all. Keep it flowing. Bye.